Evernote recently published this article, 20 recent improvements in Evernote plus a look at what's next. There's also a video from Federico. I have already talked about most of these items here on the channel. You'll find the links to all of the videos in the description below. Uh, however, uh, there are some of them I never discussed here and others I completely missed. So let's take a look at them. A new Evernote homepage for mobile is in the list of what's next. And although I've been following the progress of this homepage, I think this was the first time Federico really talked about it. He tweeted about it, but this was the first time he talked about it. And he started saying that that was not final version. In fact, they, he showed two versions. Uh, I prefer the one, uh, the second one. The first one is just uh, the buttons to create things faster. And the second one has the buttons and the recent notes list. Uh, I, th I think that adds more value because most of the time we are looking for things that we just uh, worked on and our recent notes list is exactly that something that we just worked on the the notes we just worked on what i don't like about this new hum thing is that there's no talk about what's going to happen to the current hum at least i i never uh, saw anything about this and although i agree with him it's faster to have just the buttons and in we when we are using the mobile client we want to create things faster take notes faster i completely agree with that but at the same time i see a lot of value in the current home it's easy access to widgets that we crafted things that we use all the time things that we need to check all the time so i would love to know what's going to happen to the current hum. Evernote 10 started this new trend of removing many features, but more recently, uh, Banding Spum started adding them back. So I I, I, I think they, they are not going to remove the current hum. I hope they leave it somewhere where we can go to it or maybe let us choose which one we want as our default home page. Okay, if we scroll down to the bug fixing section, there's one here that I loved. Uh, we repaired broken keyboard shortcuts for non-US keyboards. I use a US uh, keyboard, but many of you here in our community uh, use a non-US keyboard. And some of you contacted me, have already contacted me uh, talking about this issue. I don't understand this. I don't know if it's something related to the position of the keys. How, how I don't know how this keyboard shortcuts work, but I know that uh, for non-US -key keyboards, uh, it was not working 100%. So I hope this is now in the past. And if you use a non-US keyboard, please let me know in the comments below. There are other fixes here, and I encourage you to take a look at all this, uh, all the information in this page. You'll, find, you'll also find the link to this page in the description below. We'll, we'll, we'll soon talk about the calendar. I want to talk about this one here. Improve the import process so that you can add any markdown text or doc files into Evernote while preserving the original formatting. This is great. For a long time, I don't paste things into Evernote expecting that they will be correctly formatted. So what I do is uh, there's this keyboard combination, at least the Mac has it. It's shift option common V that will always paste uh, text without the formatting layer. And this is what I've been doing uh, when I'm pasting things to Evernote for a long time. One thing that really bothered me in the past was the paragraphs, uh, the lines in between the paragraphs, they would be double uh, blank lines. That would happen all the time. Anyway, this is really good, but I haven't tested. And then there is the new calendar functionality. I personally ask him this to, to make the calendar more uh, of a Evernote calendar. And in the video, he talks about creating uh, entries that 
are not linked to Outlook or uh, Google Calendar. They are just in the calendar. I think this is a, a first step. I hope to see more here. If you watched our conversation, you remember that I asked him to uh, use the calendar to show everything that has a date in Evernote, everything, tasks, uh, uh, reminders. I think all that should be in the calendar. Um, but when we, he was talking about this new idea of creating the the entries without any connection to, to uh, Outlook or Google Calendar, one thing that came to my mind was this has the potential to create a little confusion. Maybe people will think that creating those entries there will also create the, the event on the other calendar, the connected calendar. So I don't know how they will communicate this or if this will be released together with the, uh, a possible, he didn't mention that, but a, he mentioned it uh, in the conversation we had, but he didn't mention in this video uh, a possible synchronization of events. So let's see what's going to happen. But I, I love that they are uh, putting more energy into having an Evernote calendar, a real Evernote calendar. The last item in this coming soon session is rent. I have no idea what this is, but he explained in the video that this is this is something they are working on to make synchronization even faster. The titles, thumbnails, and this is something that I think everyone that has a lot of notes in Evernote struggles with. Sometimes the thumbnails don't update. Sometimes the the titles take a little longer. Even there's even uh, some situations where the 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 recent note doesn't jump to the top of the list. But I hope this will all be gone when they uh, fixed uh, work on this rant thing here. And I like that they are still working. Uh, on the technical part under the hood because this was a big thing when Banding Spoons acquired Evernote and then they started working on these new features, but it looks like they never stopped working uh, on uh, the technical part. And this is great. It, it, it's, it's always good to have uh, a more agile Evernote, a more uh, where we can add information quickly and look for and find information faster. Okay, that's it for this one. If it was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider joining my Patreon, becoming a YouTube member, or buying me a coffee. Thanks for watching. See you soon.